you run your own home game and you obviously run D and D, uh, on the regular basis. How has that changed for you during you know the pandemic? Like how has this altered how you run D and D and how you play? So during the quarantine, we have been playing D and D online. First I was DMing and then most recently my husband took over DMing, finally giving me a chance to play, which is almost unheard of. I almost never get to play, uh, which, <laughs> which I'm not complaining because I love DMing, uh, but it is a treat occasionally to get to just show up with my character and, and play. I've, I've, I've felt that deeply uh, every time I'm organizing a game to play. You're like, I would like to, you, you always raise your hand and be like, I would like to just play. <laughs> I, would, I would like a chance to play. I mean, I'll DM if I have to, but I would like to play. Right. <laughs> so how's that been? Uh, it, it has been a ton of fun. The transition from playing uh, around our dining room table to playing online hasn't been too difficult because for a number of years we've largely done theater of the mind style play uh this you know this if if we had been making heavy use of miniatures i think the transition would be much more difficult that said i miss seeing people around the table uh there there is something uh, magical about being there in person being able to see everybody's body language uh, not having to worry about can we hear each other talking all at the same time you know there 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 is a dynamism to being in person that is impossible online but we're still having a great time online uh we're still you know we we've just adjusted you know it, it, and you know we talk differently to make sure everyone has you know quiet so that we can all hear what what this particular player is saying uh and you know we've been using you know different dice rollers and you know trying out different tools for enhancing the play one of the things i also miss by the way uh in addition to just being there in person with people and, and you know being able to share a meal with each other while we play is i miss having ambient music some of the online tools allow you to have music playing, but it's not quite the same as having music playing in the background in a space. And in, in my home game, I make heavy use of mood music. Uh, almost always in my campaigns, I have music selections keyed to different groups, different places, different events. And that's a bit more challenging to do uh, online, partly because it becomes much more prominent. When you're playing in a physical space, the mood music can truly just be mood music in the background. If you play it in one of the online tools available, sure you get the music, but suddenly it's like music. You know, it, it, it is imp it's like impossible to ignore that music is playing. And so rather than it being a background element, it suddenly becomes a foreground element. Uh, so. Uh, that is all a, a, a long way of saying I look forward to going back to playing uh, around a table uh, when uh, the quarantine is passed and we all feel uh, safe to gather together again. Uh, particularly because my plan has been for my next D&D &D campaign to make heavy use of miniatures. Uh, every, time I, every time I start a new D&D &D campaign, I have some DMing thing that I give myself to do that's different from all my previous campaigns. And sometimes that's a shift in genre, sometimes it's a shift in gameplay or both. So my next campaign is going to be a pulp adventure in theme, and it's going to feature way more dungeons than I normally use. And I wanna use miniatures because it's now been years since I've made heavy use of miniatures in a campaign. Needless to say, I picked the wrong year to plan on a miniatures-based campaign. <laughs> you might want to put a pin in that till 2021. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I recently have gone back into miniatures as well, and uh, WizKids sent me some of their their uh, 
you know, they're the little spell effect uh, uh, templates to let you know how big Fireball is. And I find it weirdly fascinating to know exactly, like to get it right, you know, uh, um, makes me very excited. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm getting back into that. But like you said, not the best year for it, but very fun. Uh, my wife's, my wife was playing a, dru a wildfire druid and boy, those are blasters. And you really gotta know <laughs> where those fire spells are and what they do. Uh, it's a lot of fun.